Hi folks, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. Today we have the third lecture of ICT A to Z beginner series. If you are new to our channel, make sure you watch the previous one. So the rhythm of this series should not be broke and you should not be confused if you are new to our channel that what is going on. Okay. So it's a complete series which will all goes to all ICT concepts uh, with also uh, in the end the tap, tap reading on live price action. So make sure you should not miss this one. So in today's lecture, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to introduce you the candle time frame and the kill zone of ICT basic concept part one. Okay, so let's jump into the video. If you go to any uh, platform like TradingView, MT4, MT5, or are you using a cryptocurrency or any uh, any financial market, you will see basically uh, this type of candlestick there. Uh, their color may be a different because this uh, I customize this one okay so uh, you will see this candle every candle have you see some candle have these long shadows long long wicks and these bodies so what they represent so in this picture uh, if you see that we have a bearish candle and we have a bullish candle so in bearish candle you have to only understand that this is the body part the main part okay the wicks are uh, just a noise uh, but it's just you have to understand what this wick uh, for and why this form okay in bearish candle uh, the price go down in bullish candle the price go up okay so it can be any color uh, in here in if you see uh, this is the if you watch ICT or if you're watching me uh, for my uh, trading view chart the black candle consider for a bearish and the green candle for a bullish okay so for bullish candle it's open where this body uh, thick body part start okay when the price wherever the price open that will be the open and then it will close the wick up upside wick and the uh, blow wick is the low what is the low and high it's uh, the time frame of this candle if it's a one minute candle if it's a one hour candle it's one day candle it represent that time frame in that time frame the price open here close here in that entire time period the price maximum go to this level and the minimum goes to that level okay and the same for bearish candle the price open from upside and close from blow side the price make high and low if you take want to uh, screenshot or you want to note better it okay so this is a simple uh, understanding on a candlestick that it will be open from bottom it will close here the high and the low of the candle okay uh, if i want to show you the live execution examples here like a one minute time frame okay i come to here i will uh, explain you more in time frame don't worry so in this one minute time frame if you see this black candle uh, have a 10 second remain uh, and it's open here it did not go to upside it's go downside make the low and then it will going to close here once it's close here the next candle you will see form like this the open here uh, and it's going in that time frame period that one minute time frame the price go up down whatever he do and in the end it will be formed like that as you seen in the trading view so now we came to time frame what is the time frame time frame if you come to trading view upside you will see here uh, there is many 1m uh, is for 1 minute 3 minute 5 15 1 hour 1h for 1 hour d for day w for week 4 for 4 h for 4 hour and there is too much time even in the second but uh, for this part you have to go for their premium uh, so I don't think you need that one okay so 1 3 5 15 30 45 1 hour 4 hour 1 day 1 week 1 month okay so in time frame what is uh, why that important and uh, what it represent basically if you are for example I am in a one hour time frame okay so what is represent basically if we uh, select one hour the each candle here what it even small bigger thinner whatever okay it represent a one hour candle okay if I select a day D for day or W for week it consider a weekly candle or daily candle like here for hour as you seen here we have a uh, UTC minus 5 532 we have 27 remain 27 minute remain for this candle to be close and after that a new candle form and that candle be also for a 60 minute time frame period okay if I go to a day 
and uh, each candle is represented for a daily candle and for a day candle need to be complete in 11 hours and 26 minutes and if we are go for a week we have around 11 hour 26 because this is today is the friday where i'm making the video and each can candle is represent for a weekly okay so i hope you understand uh, till here that uh, about uh, time frame and the candlestick okay so now uh, for you i write here the kill zone hours where we are trade okay where we will trade so because in uh, this is the huge knowledge and i am not able to provide you all thing in one video so don't worry we have a long way to go and i will explain everything one by one so make sure you write everything in your note general this and practice whatever i said you okay even you are a advanced level trader if you are watching uh, don't worry write something good you will get in the end okay in after this series okay the kills number uh, the price is not uh, this is the most important point the price did not run by uh, hedge funds or smart money uh, banks or central bank or like this okay the price run by algorithm the price is run on algorithm and the algorithm run on the time understand because time is priority then price if price is not there time is not there okay so the both things should be on a place to execute your any trade or understand the trade okay so you have to understand these all market are totally rigged it's our control 100 percent control by ai artificial intelligence so every takes every pips anything is controlled okay so everything happen on a kill zone hours the kill zone hour is uh, basically specified the sessions of the day uh, what is mean by session you know in uh, in all over the world there is sometime the asian stock exchange open that consider that we call a uh, asian session okay where the asian pair like japanese yen australian dollar new zealand dollar or any other asian currency uh, traded on that time period okay here is some indicator also that indicate but uh, not always uh, that indicator is like here uh, as you seen we have a three color a green color a blue color and a red color green color is basically for asian time frame and if you set your uh, chart always your uh, chart will be in a new york time uh, frame because you should not watch utc minus four or utc minus five always use a new york because daylight saving time in uh, new york it will be changed uh, in after some sessions or after some seasons okay so uh, always set your time in new york and if you see this uh, green candle start from here the 8 pm the asian session start and asian session close at 2 am the uh, london session the wallet the volatile time start from 3 am and the london close around 7 am and the new york start at 8 am and till 12 pm the lunch of noon and then uh, this is the pm session of noon uh, just for your information that if you want to use uh, that uh, that uh, uh, indicator you can simply search the asian session and you will find that one okay let's all go we, uh, we have also another option for these uh, uh, indicator okay so the you have to note that we are basically trade on gold uh, the indices or a forex pair okay so we have uh, ict kill zone hours where the market and the algorithm the price and algorithm run okay the first time period we always see the 3 a.m to 5 a.m the london session where the mostly gpp pair the british pound pairs uh, will be active okay and you will see the volatility any news between this time frame okay and then we have a 7 a.m till 4 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. for a forex. This is a New York a.m. session where the mostly you see the USD pairs start moving or you will see the volatility on this pair. Okay, then we have a 830 a.m. for indices also for forex also for gold also as well. The 830 is the time where all news are available news for a uh, political level geo geological level or whatever that okay uh, that's not our concern so that all news everything will be held on 8 30 a.m for indices that is new york am session okay 
then the 9:30 am the new york stock exchange open the nias open where the most time the indices you will see a huge huge volatility on the opening of 9:30 am and sometime also news on this time as well okay this is also new am uh, New York AM session then we have a 12 to 1 p.m. lunch where typically as per ICT we should not trade place any trade on these time frame our time our trade between 7 a.m. if we are doing a New York session our trade in for from 7 to 11 30 maximum if we are doing indices our trade from 8 30 to 11 30 we should not do trade at 12 to 1 p.m. because I don't know but he said uh, we should not do trade on 12 to 1 pm uh, that is a not a good thing mostly uh, this is a liquidity build area so uh, what I'm talking about I will show you later in the coming lectures okay so the last uh, time frame where you see the market run is uh, 1 30 to 4 pm the New York pm session where the uh, basically this time frame took the liquidity of the lunch uh, and then it's go to uh, their target okay liquidity so I hope you understand this uh, basic knowledge and some of you know uh, maybe know about much better than that so don't worry uh, I'm j this is just for a beginner and slowly slowly you will going to understand more deeply uh, once uh, one by one okay so I hope you understand the candle time frame and kill zone hour of ICT uh, until next time be safe and one more thing please subscribe our youtube channel and we have a telegram in the description okay you will see the link and if you are uh, struggling to find a good broker we have uh, these two broker you also find a link in the description uh, bye bye